What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Boom! What's up, everybody? I'm talking about a new movie out in theaters called Searching, starring John Cho. Uh, and uh, it's kind of, it's a film that's done in a new kind of a style that's kind of started up a few years ago. Uh, I think there was a horror movie like The Dark Web or something like that where it's basically just told from the desktop view, like screen captures, only screen captures. So it's kind of a new way of telling a story. Um, this one is like a thriller kind of a movie. Not Some people, I think, confuse it with the other one, which is a horror movie. This is more of just a thriller. Uh, but a great movie, simple movie. John Cho is the lead. He is a father who is looking for his daughter that goes missing. Uh, let me do the thing. Let me do the thing. You know? After his 16-year-old daughter goes missing, a desperate father breaks into her laptop to look for clues to find her. Pretty basic description, right? Um, and it is. So she goes missing, uh, and, you know, he goes through searching, and it takes you through the process of him getting into her accounts. And for whatever reason, even though you're watching somebody, like, recover forgotten passwords and stuff like that, even though you're just kind of watching him actually search, like literally that's what the movie is about, him searching for his daughter online. Um, it's, done, it's done well, you know? It, it gets, gives you different video shots from FaceTime, um, YouTube clips, uh, this, you know, uh, Ucast or whatever, this false or fake, I don't even know, it might be real, uh, social network. It's kind of like a, you know, vlogging kind of a network. And it's a fun movie. It's with a twist. It's well written, well acted. I enjoyed it. Even though I kind of knew I kind of knew where it was going. Kind of, I guess. I don't know if I knew the end. The end twist, maybe not. Um, but I really liked the movie. Uh, you know, there were definitely some tense moments. Uh, I haven't watched the horror movies that kind of use this style. Uh, but I, as I would imagine, this one's going to be written better. It's pretty rare that a horror movie has good writing. Um, usually, a lot of times, that's good concepts come out of that that genre. But uh, totally enjoyed it. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. You know, go see it. I don't know. It was only in one theater out here. Uh, but I heard about it on the Slash Filmcast, so I wanted to make sure I checked it out. Because uh, there's not a whole lot of movies out right now that look interesting at all. So that one definitely looked interesting. Um, and I enjoy John Cho and other stuff that he's done. Um, I think he was in that one movie. I mean, he's got the uh, Harold and Kumar movies, obviously. But... The other actor. No, Star Trek Beyond. New Girl, Bojack Horseman. This guy works, bro. Um, where is that movie? I know he's in it. Total Recall remake. Uh, Harold and Kumar, 30 Rock. God damn. Uh. Jesus, when was this movie that is like early 2000s? It was. I'm totally going to miss it because he's in so much fucking shit. It's like a movie. Better luck tomorrow, maybe like a movie with all Asian actors. Damn it. Fuck. Maybe he's not in it. Maybe I think he's like the guy. I think he's better luck tomorrow is the movie. Kind of like a heist movie. It's all Asian actors. Um, and I kind of forget the main character has this thing where he's trying to break some record in free throws. So it's kind of cuts to him practicing his free throws. Uh, but he uses kind of his diligence in being able to do these things 
He's like part of the debate team or some shit. And he uses it to commit crimes with his friends. And uh, it's a good movie. And I thought if he... D- uh, was it John Cho? God damn it. Yeah, John Cho was the boyfriend. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Brick. Fuck, I don't know. There's a movie where there's this Asian guy who rides, I think it's like an Indian or a Triumph, kind of like one of those cafe motorcycles. One of those movies. Anyway, maybe it's not him. God damn it. Great movie, though. But Better Luck Tomorrow, I think, is the movie. Go watch it. Brick is also amazing. Uh, but Searching is really fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, definitely, there's not a whole lot out, like I said earlier. So you can't go wrong with this one. It's a fun, even when it, when it comes out streaming, uh, for sure check it out. It would be a cool one to watch streaming. Um, it's really noticeable that the movie theater wasn't in frame because it starts, it's a desktop, and then the bottom, you know, toolbar of Windows, it starts off in Windows and then it progresses to, you know, Macs and iPhones and all kinds of shit. Um, Yeah, anyway, I don't know where I was going with that. It's a fun movie. Go watch Searching. That's it, everybody, uh, for this episode. Go to inspireddisorder.com for all of my artwork. And coming soon, I'm going to talk about it in uh, tomorrow's episode. I am making a lot of big changes uh, in considering uh, Patreon and YouTube. Uh, so go over to my YouTube page, uh, inspireddisorder.com slash YouTube or youtube.com slash inspireddisorder. Either one. Subscribe to my YouTube page as well if you want. Um, but I'm going to talk about that in tomorrow's episode. All the links are up top. That's it, everybody. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. Peace out.